The suffragettes were militant and unrelenting. It was a movement born in Manchester. Well, the banner has the message on it first in the fight. And Emmeline the Pankhurst led a group of women, notoriously resilient in their quest for votes, on a course that would shock the world and radically change democracy in Britain. In the Representation of the People Act of 1918, it wasn't just some women who won the vote, it was all men as well who, who were able to vote. And the electorate tripled in that time. So it's incredible that the people who were able to vote now were working class men, were working class people, of course, working class women still couldn't do that. But that would have radically changed what was being talked about in Parliament at that time. The suffragettes used extreme methods to promote their cause. They felt words hadn't worked and used a wave of violence and vandalism as their political voice. A woman runs out, there is a fall. In 1913, Emily Davison died after running into the path of the King's horse at the Epsom Derby as part of the protest. Today, the Prime Minister was in Manchester to pay homage to their heroism and the legacy that would see her at the head of government. They persevered in spite of all danger and discouragement because they knew their cause was right. There have been calls for convicted suffragettes to be pardoned, but no mention of it in this speech. The truth of their arguments won the day, and we are all in their debt. In this parlour, at the home of Emmeline Pankhurst, the suffragettes came up with the motto, Deeds, Not Words, a sentiment that still resonates. A lot of people have this sort of negative connotation with yeah. feminism yeah. and they think that feminists are about hating men and it's or that it's, better or, that's yeah. so anti-feminist. I think violence remains a, a huge issue for women. Uh, it was an issue that suffragettes campaigned about. They weren't ever just interested in the vote and actually it's still a, a huge issue for women. I think being a person of colour and then being a woman, you have two layers. It's one discrimination against the other and you have to kind of negotiate and f pick your battles. The suffragettes started with voting rights for women. Those first steps have taken us on a much bigger journey. A lot has changed in a hundred years, but the legacy of empowering future generations continues. Elaine Dunkley, BBC News.